So today marks three weeks exactly that I've been living in my teepee. And I decided to document my journey and kind of explain to everybody what and why I've been doing this. So to start with, this is a 22 foot round teepee that was made by Nomadic Teepee Makers. And at the time that we purchased this, I was teaching outdoor nature-based education through Children of the Woods, an outdoor school, home school that um, I was running. And then I also, of course, as most of you know, teach primitive skills. So having somewhere warm to go into that you can have a fire, obviously, in the winter and fall was a great addition. Now, recently we had set this up for a primitive gathering a few or three weeks ago um, that we were putting on for primal survival. After the gathering, I just basically decided that I wanted some time away from the hustle and bustle of normal life and I was going to stay in the teepee. So I want to give you guys a little glimpse of little clips that I have taken throughout my journey and show you how rewarding this experience has been. guys a little tour of our gathering here before everybody wakes up. It's nice and spooky and foggy, so I'm loving that. I'm getting ready to lay straw down because we have a serious mud problem. But we got a fire going in the teepee, which is a wreck because of the mud. So anybody that wants to complain about tracking mud in their house, here is my house. some nice Osage I'm gonna burn. That seems to burn pretty hot fire, which is what you want to get a nice draft. So I got oak, Osage, and a little bit of ash. knows this amount of firewood will literally only get me through dinner time until about four in the morning so that is the main issue or problem with the TP um, it's very cool but it's not very wood efficient when it comes to uh, using all your resources so I brought some wood from my house that you know was already dry but I have my work cut out for me finding wood here dry wood, cutting wood, and of course using enough wood to uh, keep yourself warm. In primitive times, of course, people were moving in teepees, and this was because they would, one, use up the resources in the area, and two, of course, follow uh, buffalo and big game. So anyway, this is the amount of firewood for tonight. <laughs> so this has been my daily job. So unlike my primitive ancestors, I cannot keep a fire going consistently in this teepee. Um, obviously, I need to leave to do things here and there, and um, it's just not uh, feasible, um, especially with depleting my resources. So every day, I start my day by gathering sticks to start my fire. Once I have my fire start, I do try to keep it rolling most of the night. It's really the only way to um, stay warm and to have something to use for dinner.
So this is my camp outside of the teepee. I have a tarp set up and a few tables, which has basically become my makeshift kitchen and my hangout spot where I've been doing pottery and so forth um, while it's daylight. Once it gets dark, I usually venture into the teepee. So this is technically day four of my TP living and I'm getting ready for bed. I got my fire going. Um, that's been one of the biggest challenges, honestly, is to have a fire continuously going from about dinner time till about five in the morning when I need it to be rolling. So, but other than that, this has been great. I'm really enjoying um, this whole experience. It's been extremely humbling, extremely rewarding and uh, has given me a lot of clarity about myself and my life. So I'm really enjoying it. So a couple of my friends wanted to know what it is that I'm eating while I'm out here. So this is my little makeshift shift kitchen here. And um, I've absolutely been, been eating good. So it's not like I've been starving myself living in the bush. Um, I have been going to a Caribbean market to get some fresh fish and fruit. And I've also been doing a lot of foraging. Um, when we did the primitive gathering, I smoked a bunch of jerky, so I've been basically eating that throughout the week as well as a lot of fruits. Um, right now we have wild grapes that are in season, so these are delicious. You can cook with them, do all kinds of stuff. Of course, we have pawpaws. It's pawpaw season. And then um, up at the farm here, which is about 100 acres away, they do have a small little garden that I've been picking from. So I got my fire started and I wanted to show everybody what I harvested for dinner. So I have some wood ear mushrooms and some oyster mushrooms here. And then we have some delicious wood ears. So for those that don't know about the wood ears, I do have a video on this on how to identify them and cook them. So this and butternut squash is going to be my dinner tonight. As far as hygiene and taking showers, I've been taking minimal sponge baths. Sometimes I go to the creek and sometimes I use a bucket. I also have the ability to of course go home and wash my hair if necessary. So I just woke up, added a little more wood to my fire. Um, the coyotes actually yipping are what woke me up. This has been a constant since I've been here. Um, they're of course no threat, it's just very annoying. 
but it's okay because you continuously have to load your stove. Now, so far I'm extremely warm. It's about 45 degrees outside and I'm fine in here. So I'm going to stop the fire and go back to sleep. So I'm just waking up and um, it's beautiful out this morning. My camp thankfully made it through the storm. I did have a little bit of flooding in my fire pit in the teepee, but nothing a bucket can't fix. So I'm just glad nothing blew down. The tarp is still up. Obviously the teepee is still up. So everything is good. So I'm off to get more firewood. That has been the absolute constant here is having to get firewood. Um, of course, if I had a wood stove or something a little more efficient in this, it would help. So I am thinking about permanent solutions for when I do set the TP up at a permanent location. As of right now, I've had a lot of suggestions, but just so everybody knows, this, this is not a permanent location. So this is why I have not gone through all of these um, recommendations that people have been giving me. But I absolutely will take those into account when I do set this up permanently. So tonight concludes another TP evening. Um, this marks three weeks for me and I'm loving life. I really must say I am going to be very sad to retreat from this place, but because I am a hundred pounds and really honestly a sissy when it comes to cold, I probably will retreat before it gets um, below freezing. But I'm taking advantage of every moment of this wonderful connection that I feel here. you guys enjoyed this video obviously this life is not for everybody I understand not everybody has a teepee or an outdoor shelter to stay in but what I can tell you is literally when I was about to lose my mind I went into nature and found my soul this has been the best therapy the most rewarding experience um, that I really could have ever asked for so I highly recommend it to all so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time stay wild